Pitch me something educational and positive for a new Channel 8 drama. Hmm, how about we teach children how to overcome bullying? No. Something about um educational system failing on us? Meh. How about a homosexual pedophile with STDs? Perfect. Hi everyone, welcome back to our Slumber Party! I'm Erin Akonda. I'm Della Rose. I'm Farah Shamrock. I'm Tara Sorrell. And I'm Vana Miss Joker. And together we're the colourful House of Miss Joker. Now, yeah. before we begin, remember to like our video and give our channel a subscribe. Click, click, click. Okay? So, are we ready? Yes. So, Farah, what are the topics we're going to touch on today? We are going to talk about the censorship and false representation of the LGBTQ plus community mm, in the mainstream media uh, nowadays. What yeah. does it mean? Simple Meaning term scan. Uh, Meaning how people like us are portrayed on TV. Yes. Oh, okay. I understand. get it. Understand? Understand. Do you need to explain why it's people like us? People like us. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Ah. Oh, people like oh. us as in beautiful women like yes. 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 Oh my god, I'm finally you feel that. beautiful. I am beautiful. Oh, okay. Explode. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we are gonna talk about all the um false representations or how we are represented on our national medias, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know, on our t- free Lo- local TV channels. Yeah. Uh I think the most Recent one that I can remember is um, the one on Channel Eight. I don't know if you all. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it was yeah. that article. Like personally, for me, I was very offended by that. Mm. Yeah, because I yeah. did not like the fact that. Um, can you explain what happened actually? Uh, there was a character in the show, uh, who is gay. Okay. And he is a pedophile. What? And he has STD or something. So I I'm just not happy with the fact that they would. Link all this to into to a gay person mm-hmm. per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, in other people's eyes, like they would they would see it as like, oh, gay people are like that. Yeah, in a way, I think yeah. it's like they're trying to make us believe that being gay, you're if you're gay, you're this kind of person. Yeah. yeah. So like those young minds who watch mm. this kind of shows, yep. especially when it goes to free to air channels, makes yes. it labels us. Yep. Yeah. And the people who post this are the mm-hmm. media. And I feel like it's unfair because. If you're a kid watching this, you will be brainwashed. I I wouldn't want to say brainwashed, but you will be Thought fed that. all yeah. this yeah. information at that. such a young age. Yeah, so you grow up with this um, mentality. mentality that oh, gay people will have STD and gay people are all pedophiles. When I don't have STD and I'm not a pedophile, exactly, I'm yeah. just gay. True. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what I what do you guys feel? Like it's like something which is actually not not right. I feel because mm-hmm. we as gay people. The fact that you're that you're labeling us like that is the same way as you know similar to you know being racist or a, a a kid who didn't study all the way to poly or uni. It's like something like it's not, it's not smart of them to do that, especially Ooh. when this kind of channels whereby everybody can watch it. The least you can do is educate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If you can't educate, don't label him as gay. Yeah. Just yeah. he's just a criminal. Yeah. 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 True. Don't don't just say oh oh um he's a g- homosexual who has all of this. Yeah. Just treat him as a criminal. You, I don't think you should um involve sexual orientation yeah. in this kind true, of thing. Yeah. It's unfair, don't you think? Yep. Like that this is how we are seen by we are being portrayed yeah. in the media. I mean it's funny like they don't wanna like show or, or portray like all the gay people in like in the media but then when they do portray us, they portray it like negatively. Yes. Yes, yeah. like if it, it, like I think when we so see many so many, if they wouldn't say they're gay, but you can tell they are gay. They are either the comic, the comedy, yeah. the, mm-hmm. the, yeah, the the funny one, the funny one, yeah. the one that always cracks up the jokes, which is great. Yeah, yeah. either that or where the bad, the bad pe- one, the bad people. Yeah. Why not involve us in a committed relationship yeah. or a yeah. small kid who's trying to survive high school? Yeah, yeah. and and trying to you know. Like see that it's not right to bully kids or something like that. I don't think that has ever happened. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Like in my point of view, like I'm okay if because drag 
to like our local people like not in our community but also like Singaporeans uh, in general they see drag queens as the one who uh, the, light up the room the one who you know make all the jokes crack all the jokes so you know with, with, with that yes I do agree to that but within the media itself like you know we can't just be like a, a clown 24-7 you yeah. know we have like a serious story to tell too yeah. mm-hmm. so you know like with, with posts uh, series and stuff like that like you know why not we have that here like why not somebody have to start somewhere yeah. you know like, yeah what are they so afraid of mm. it's like if not the the cycle is gonna repeat itself and it's like we just people are not gonna see us as oh uh, 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 as people they're just gonna see us as clowns but like why do you think like the local media is portraying us this way like any <laughs> assumptions it's just old mentality yeah. 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 they have this yeah. traditional mindset and they're afraid of backlash and mm, I think because, okay. because Singapore is like very conservative mm. so it's I, I don't know I, I think they're just afraid to like but there are other things out there that's worse than yeah, this like one. you can talk about yeah. like the war on drugs or something yeah. like that you yeah. shouldn't be talk- like <laughs> I mean to them it's like no homosexuality is like the number one crime in Singapore but we- <laughs> it's, it's unfair that every time we are portrayed on TV it has to be a negative mm. you know why it cannot be like you know like Thailand, let's say, yeah. where there are shows where they show like a married gay couple who is raising a child. Yeah. yeah. Like, why can you not show that this is a possibility and it's positive? Like, when a straight couple abandon their child, a gay couple is willing to raise this child. Yeah. You know, like, why can you not bring this into like in our country? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just so unfair. Like, you are so okay. This this the plus point is that they 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 include drag. I I would say like uh, for example, Liam Popo. That's not considered drag. Straight people. Like, no, no, this is their perception of drag. Yeah. Okay. And they, they try to include it. Mm. As much as they try to include us, I feel like that's the only thing that they will accept. Yeah, it's comedy. Yeah. It's comedy. That's it's funny. Thing, like, okay, a joke. You get these straight actors to do drag yeah. on mm-hmm. show and people are okay. Mm. But they are never okay to hire a drag queen to be on yeah. a sitcom. Yeah. People who actually do it professionally. Yeah. If they do... Yeah, I agree. Have you seen? I don't know. I mean, okay, like say Tanglin, you know, it's like a family oriented. You know, you, I mean, in 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 one of the family, I mean, of your oh, kids got one gay. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, you might you can actually put a, a your kid uh, a character in in that situation, like oh, is you know Satnai being a, a drag drag performer, you know, like. Something to just educate the yeah. people out and there. Yeah, show the like, struggle. Yeah, okay. ninety nine episodes out. to at least educate something about the minority, yeah. which so many people are actually still not understanding it right now. Agree. And you're not taking that step, and you want to call yourself a progressive country. Yeah, which also remind reminded me of um my Voglicious days, uh when I was performing uh for Octo Life, mm. uh for Media Corp, um. We actually wore just like colorful skinny jeans, and skinny jeans, mind you, is like covered. You know, we're not even wearing shorts. And um, the person came up to us and told us to actually, uh, do you have any all like black pants? They actually found like literally find black pants for us to wear. They actually asked us to change. It's like it's just skinny jeans with colorful, like just colorful skinny jeans. Like we're not pushing any gay agenda it's or a anything. Costume, right? it's a yeah, it's, it's yeah. part of a costume. So I mean, I get it. It's a kids show. It's a family show. But what's wrong with being colorful on a kids show? Exactly. It's like uh uh eh. <laughs> yeah, do they know who they are like hiring to perform on the show? Exactly. Yes. Like they know that you you guys are that you know flamboyant yeah. and yeah. everything. So. Do you know what they're in for? Eh? I mean, K-pop, all that. It's like, uh, they are much exactly. more... Feminine. Feminine and flamboyant than us. It's like with the dyed hair, colourful hair, and Makeup piercings. On. We don't have any piercings. Just colourful pants. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> and we need Jai Ho, Puskat Dolls. Everybody loves Jai Ho. <laughs> <laughs> and we love wearing socks. We got more pet show here. <laughs> you know, so... Girl, I don't get it. Yeah, I mean, in, in even in like the dance floor competition when I joined with Limited Edition, mm. it's um it's also the same thing like uh when there was this episode that we actually cross dress. Oh yes, I remember. Uh, and mm. then like the, oh, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was there. Yeah. We were there. The week after, like we got like you know backlash because one of the judges said that you know I know you guys are not yeah. girls. Uh, he said we are we are we are guys of no. He was feminine. like you all boys, right? Yeah. yeah. So that that they actually got backlash like. Dance floor, the media cop show. But so. it's so weird that the judge would yeah. even say that. And then, uh, yes. but he wasn't saying it negatively. Like he said, he was just genuinely yeah, confused right. because he couldn't, 
like accept the fact that they are guys. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, was happy. Yeah. But the uh, our people uh, in our country of, yeah. were negative about it because so, they were like, oh my god, they they actually said that they are guys and Hence, they are dressed like that. Why yeah. we had to tone down like the week after? Mm. It's like, ah, uh, really? Like, oh my god. And like, you guys are not doing anything wrong. You're just showing your talent that yeah, you guys dance. have. Yeah, dance. It's just dance. It's, just it's the a interpretation of dance. of dance which they cannot accept. Yeah, just like how it's they cannot accept our lifestyle. It's an artistry like. that really you just want to put it out there. You're not ed- you're not influencing kids to do something wrong or going against the yeah. law. I think in general, it's just Singapore and supporting arts. Lah. I mean, Singapore has never been supportive of arts. Yeah. True. That's a hard truth. I think I can relate with Venda because back in ITE we actually uh, do perform like like very gay lah. So basically <laughs> yeah, we wear makeup true. and we wear like all this like not say cross dress but flamboyant. More, yeah, yeah, very flamboyant lip. And very then loud. the management um basically told us to change and uh, remove our makeup and you cannot wear this, you cannot wear that. And we and I think Malay dancers wear makeup. Uh, exactly. Makeup, right? I mean that is Sticker. part of part of their costume. Yeah. To them, ah, but, but to us is not. So you guys have to dance, and then so they are no okay makeup with girls. No, look. no, the guys also. The guys also. also? Yes, the Malay. That is even worse, eh? Yeah. Yeah. No, because to them Malay is is a cultural dance item. This yeah. is yeah. hip hop. It's not a culture. Makeup. So they are allowed to wear makeup just because it's cultural. Yeah, yeah. They have that kind of mentality, lah. It's like, oh, ah, uh, Malay dancers, Indian dancers, or maybe it's part of their makeup. But they like contemporary dance, hip hop, and stuff like that. They they don't. Know what 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 it is, you know. Yeah. They just see and and they they're not convinced to the fact that it's actually just part of the performance. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the culture as well. But you they don't, guys they don't are know. not even selling any Wh- agenda. Which year was this? I think it was back in two thousand twelve. But has time changed? Eleven twelve, like. No, because I, I no, I don't. I really don't know because I haven't went back there. Because I, I mean, I've I'm I've seen videos of like performances from, ITE. Yeah, but, but I've not seen them wearing makeup, so I don't know if it's being continued. Like the message has been really. I don't they're know not allowed because to wear makeup whatsoever. Yeah, when I was in ITE last time, like I I just went all the way. But that's you. Yeah, it's you're you. a rebel. Yeah. That's the thing. We yeah. need these kind of people. Yeah, actually, I pick up with brave enough, who are brave yeah. enough to do it, yeah. and to know how to even speak to the people who are controlling you guys. Sure. Maybe you know, like people like us, we are still like still like. Oh, teachers say cannot. Then we do yeah. law, yeah. Uh, yeah. but you know, because we we still don't know ourselves well enough. I think yeah. mother will always stand by what she believes in. Yeah. If you say no, but she knows she's not doing anything wrong, she's going to fight for it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because I really fought uh, with the lecturer because he said like, you know, what if the religious groups are here to actually see that performance? I'm like, there's nothing wrong with that performance. There's yeah. nothing. Uh, I'm not like taking on my clothes and showing to the to the audience. No, yeah. it's just like a dance number. Yeah. It's like why are you guys thinking so like controversial about it? Okay, wait. Then you okay? Thinking of fighting. Okay. Let's be real. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of gay people in Singapore, in Singapore media right now. Gay actors, gay singers, gay presenters, gay whatever. Mm. LGBT from the LGBT plus community. Mm-hmm. Mm. Why, if the fact that they're still there, why is that not more positive portrayal or even more drag queens? Because I'm pretty sure we know some. <laughs> <laughs> no lah, like because I heard that like we some of my sisters receive DMs, you know, that from local artists who not who are not even old, actually our age, yeah. and like yes, queen, I support. Pink dot. There's I no support. shit at all because they are actually very supportive. Yeah. And they, but why can't they do it openly? Yeah. Let's like say it's because yeah, of their it's, job. I think they do not want to. Yeah, I mean, they right appreciate that, that you know. But the thing is, okay. Now I ask you: okay. If let's say your company is against you being you right here right uh-huh. now, will you do anything or will, will you, you quit will your you job? Will you come out as a drag queen there? I did. I I came no, out. No, no, if you know they are very against it, that you will lose your job. But you want to be yourself. Would you quit your job or would you just hush hush? I yourself. mean the fact that I've already said it I feel that like I have to stand by And fight for it mm. Mm. Correct Because the fact that I'm putting myself out there Right yeah. now yeah. It's like you yeah. have to Preach what you say yeah. yeah You have to preach what you say Yeah correct You have to do what you preach Ah, yeah. You have to do what you preach <laughs> you <laughs> Preach and say Preach what you practice Preach You have to practice What you preach You have to practice What you preach Boring Yeah So I just say that You know like we we putting ourselves and saying all of this, I think it's gonna be a bit 
like calling people I mean, out. All they can do is <laughs> just no, okay. a little. I, I don't think we're trying to call them out whatsoever, yeah. but it's more of like a question of why. Why can why? you not support us when you have the platform and you have the voice? Mm. I not believe safe. you need. They need to push everything yeah. at one hundred percent. Like at least a bit mm, that they have to abide to a certain rules. Yeah. And, yeah. I'm pretty and, sure there's something in their contract. Yeah, somewhere, it's right? like oh, you cannot draw this line. If not, you know, like you know some. Artists like uh, who's very out after they come out and then after their management just drop them, yeah. So I think they're afraid of that. But I mean, like I said, lah, you have to practice what you preach. You know, if you really believe in in supporting our community and stuff mm. like that, really just fight for it and you know have your stand because now a days everybody have to be righteous, have to be have to be this and that. But if they really got an issue with this thing, then don't even use cross dresses for your advertisements or your anything. You know, mm. like we know there's a lot of cross dresses like. Doing like the SMRT thing mm. and everything, then yeah. don't use it at all. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? They use the, um, the. I don't know his. I, I don't Chinese know his actor. The Chinese actor. He, he dressed him up as a old lady. Is it Young Kong Paul? No, no, no. It's one. not. I think it's the newer version, lah. Huh. It's not the same guy. Yes, that's what I was saying. If they got an issue with it, then why? No. Even I, I, why I'm dressing? asking about this, like, say they accept us mm. personally. They don't do it openly It's because I heard a story of friend That was on radio mm-hmm. And somebody actually won A hotel prize or something And then the DJ asked him uh, What are you going to do? Who are you going to bring? Then mm-hmm. he said My boyfriend um, The DJ hung up the call And called him back And said like uh, We cannot make you say that huh? Say best friend So he had to say best friend If you don't say best friend um, You have to forfeit your prize What? How unfair is that? Then Wait I, Do you remember our radio call? Yeah we, okay, so I oh think we. God, yeah, yeah we, we call in before we manage to get through. Watcher, but I think I never call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> basically, my friend was working, so I texted. I'm gonna call. Make sure you answer my call. But just nice, I called in. So we got through the line. Then we were talking and everything. Then, uh, he he said something like, uh, "Do you have any message?" Then we we just, it was the first time we were performing for Ping Dot as cheerleaders. Um, uh, mm-hmm. and then um, we. I said it lah, like I said, oh, do catch us this Saturday at Ping Dot because we are performing. Then I said, oh, cool. Then he he stopped the call and then he called me back. He said, hey, bro, I cannot uh, air your uh, call because you mentioned Ping Dot. Ping Dot. Yeah. And I feel like, it's, I don't even feel like it's his fault, but because his job doesn't allow him to yeah. do it. Because the, what happened afterwards, Um, the guy who actually said that, he actually went on a social media rant. Oh wow! Wow. Uh, but what happened to him? And then the DJ actually personally apologized and said that it's actually not because of her that she doesn't want. It's actually because yeah. of her manager. So these kind of people who are in the top positions, mm. yeah, what are, are you not, doing? Yeah, I'm not telling you to help us, but what's wrong? Can I know? Yeah. yeah. Can we know? Please. Is it explain. is it about being gay that you have an issue or just yeah. because it's the, because the, the yeah. Singapore still hasn't fully accepted us if you're not if you're not fully accepting of us yet don't you think you should just take the step forward and try and if you think that we have like a very negative impression to your family I mean what about girls in bikinis on exactly. your advertisements and that like, is that too but the thing is the most recent one which is W Hotel oh, yeah. yeah yes oh that advertisement oh my god so thank happy. you W Hotel thank you so w much Hotel was work. an amazing shout out to Andy Chua <laughs> Andy it was supposed to be a positive ad but yeah, it was, and then I, I read the comments they were so malicious yeah. and they don't even saying that they are gay couple they didn't even say explicitly say that they are gay nothing was mentioned nothing was they just said um, have a good staycation with us or something like yeah. that having a good time and to me, it can be just brothers lepak lepak while in the hotel. Got money, what? Go W hotel. Straight like, guys also like have staycations together. Yeah, what? and they they just jump to the fact. Oh, they're gay. No, wrong. Yeah. Why not jump to the fact that they are two dudes having a good time yeah. and they're gay? Even better. They just had to turn a positive into a negative because they know it's a. Uh, a gay, a gay agenda gay message. Yeah, gay, gay But it's agenda. not an agenda I feel. Yeah it's just like Sharing the real truth Of life Like there are people Like this yeah. In the community And they are helping Their business So what's wrong with yeah. them Pushing it's like, Yeah, it's, it's just it's, a, it's an audience That a certain business Has to, to, to target And Just because They're targeting A different um, portion of the community You have to attack them For doing yeah. that it's Like there are different things Where like, oh, they target The old people they target the, the, the young people <laughs> yeah. They target a certain You know a certain Group of people That kind of Correct. thing So they're just being It's just a marketing ploy So like I think What they have to What we have to Really educate them Is let's say If let's say Being straight is wrong Yeah, yeah. And being let's gay is right Reverse the roles Reverse yeah. the roles And I'm telling you How right now How would you feel No 
You cannot do that. What do you feel? Yeah. No, but wait. There was an update about that post, you know, that really? someone actually uh like did a little digging, and then they mm-hmm. said there was actually a lesbian version. Of <gasps> the there was two girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there was two girls. Mm. No, they they did post it, but no one said anything about it. Yeah. What? Yeah. They were yeah, okay with that. Of course, I think the the community view two girls as oh best Sisters, friends. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that is fine. Yeah. But when the moment is two guys, no. Yeah. So I'm like, why? Why is that okay? Yeah. yeah it's I, not fair. It's just, I mean, Thailand is already doing it with their tourism. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, and they're traveling the world as drag queens to promote Thailand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi Benjoy now bring us. <laughs> <laughs> Please know, like, bring us. Come on, it's I mean we are proud to be Singaporean. I mean and we want the best for not not just our community but for everyone too. And yeah. we want everyone to stay educated. Like, but the media is marginalizing every one of us. We should take over media corp <laughs> once and for all. <laughs> 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 I mean, come on lah! Just imagine a room full of uh, like dinner and dance, yeah, like a corporate show, a lot of like corporate people, right? And just put drag queens there, just feel the atmosphere. Yeah. How it just changes yep. from like eh, to like oh, wow, something. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Come on, man! You can no, do right. better than this. <laughs> <Jenny. Funny>. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. So, um, what kind of changes are we expecting? Like, you know, to see. Oh. I think positively, like it starts with the media because we watch TV every day, we see advertisements every day mm. on the bus, on the train, even on YouTube. Like train. Why would you use my train? <laughs> Stupid lah. Uh, if you don't know, you watch the previous episode lah. Um. So yeah, like maybe they can start. <laughs> 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 Thomas behave. Oh. <laughs> I cut your track. <laughs> oh my god! Stop with Thomas. Okay, okay. With the Thomas. Now. Okay, so pause. you were saying? Yeah. So it's like we watch media every day. So maybe like push once or twice, like what W Hotel is doing. Like that's the first step. You know, it might be a good change for us slowly. I, mean, I heard about this term. I dare say, learn is a pink dollar. Oh yes, that's what I call it. Pink dollar. Yes, pink Why dollar. not? Yes, pink dollar. Pink dollar. Pink dollar. Pink dollar. Pink dollar. Pink dollar. I think it's a multi-billion industry in the yeah. world. So you'll never know. I mean, it's a positive impact into the financial things in, yeah. in life. I don't know. But yeah, maybe that's the first step of positivity that they can do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice to see like actual drag queens on posters rather than someone to impersonate a drag queen. Come you on, know? Sephora. You should be hiring us. Oh my God, yes. Mac no. Cosmetics. Yes. Not natural control. Body shop. Eh. Hey. Hey, bo- <laughs> <laughs> There's some bath and body... <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> bath and body bombs. <laughs> <laughs> maybe anytime fitness you can call. <laughs> They should. Then they the, should. The, the you know before and after photo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Showing <laughs> off the ooh. Okay. Yeah. Then um, what about mainstream media? Like what 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 changes would you? Um, um, you can start with like mm. like I like, I think we all discussed. If only they could do whatever they do with heterosexual couples. Just just put a gay couple. If you can't put a gay couple in terms of marriage or relationships, put about a boy who's struggling with his homosexuality mm. yeah. or like. I'm pretty sure we all seen sitcoms or even shows whereby they address bullying. You know, we all talk about how important it is you know to be cyber, not not to be mental not to health. Bully, yeah, mental yeah. health. So, I'm pretty sure there are kids who are struggling in their mental health because they're gay, and there's no outlet in free to air shows, free yes. to air channels yeah. that for them to be exposed for them to, to be exposed these, right? to and yeah. learn, learn how yeah. to learn how to accommodate. Uh, I mean, cope with it. Uh, cope with it. Yeah. So like. It's it's something small that you can literally just say like oh there's little this boy who's struggling with his sexuality and his friends keep bullying him and then somebody save him or something like that yeah or if somebody save him, you know, if somebody cannot save him at least he learn how to grow himself up like a learn, proper like, representation yeah. la basically yeah. a positive what we went went through. Through. not a clown yeah a proper representation yeah. not a criminal not a rapist STD uh, what yeah. pedophile no this is written not person, an old like, woman not an old uncle yes. just to yeah. just to add on on that like I think I. I would speak for us like I appreciate if you want to portray, uh, portray us you do it like in a positive way but if you want to portray us in a negative manner or negative way I'd rather you not put, um, put us at all yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. because we have already enough negativity on our community so mm-hmm. I don't think we need any more 
Yeah. You know, so like what mother mentioned just now, you know, Tanglin what has 99 episodes, is it? I think that yeah. What's the and show about? I don't even not even one, not even one gay representative right in the show. Yeah. So Tanglin, if you need um me me, I stay Jurong quite near. Kita five zero to go Tanglin. It's not short in Tanglin. It's not short in Tanglin. <laughs> Ting Tong. Clearly, you cannot hire him. It's short so in okay, let's move on. <laughs> and this is why people always say our local shows are getting boring. Yes. Because uh, you don't have us. Come on, I'm giving you guys no. ideas, fresh ideas, come on. Because yeah. the cause of the fresh ideas. Makan sutra, I mean drag. Makan sutra. Enough with all this um, negativity. Yeah. Let's add on some positivity, positivity. and play a game. What game? Wait. I think my voice just played. Can we replay that back? I think my voice just cracked. What game? Okay, enough with all this negativity. Let's uh bring it all to a positive and play a game. What game are we playing? We are gonna play. Who would most likely? <laughs> right, so everybody, I want you guys to close your eyes. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first question is, who would most likely cave and work for MediaCorp? Okay. In three, two, one. <laughs> what me? <laughs> Why? Why me? I don't know. You were in the media. Why you say me? <laughs> because. Why is it because I'm jobless now? <laughs> Oh um, to be honest, I think we are all sellouts, like actually. I mean, no, five thousand is five thousand, babe. If they pay you five thousand to do a drag show for yeah. media cup, we don't okay, want to do it. But at the same time, I'm not gonna just do it and prove what I said wrong. It's just that all the more I'll be like, sh- try to prove something. But uh, at the same time, it's just gonna be smart, lah. Like, I put in the contract, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll follow But on that day, boom Bam <laughs> Kasihkan Alright okay, Close your eyes guys. Next question Alright, so Who would most likely get featured on Medicop first In 3, 2, 1 I guess lah, dance floor and all yeah. Crazy, the national flower will never get okay, featured Okay, the next Next, okay, close your eyes <laughs> Okay, who would most likely Date a Medicop artist In 3, 2, 1 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found myself. Yeah. I found myself. This is not most likely. I thought like... I thought you'd come in. I thought you'd come in. Ah, hi Taufik. I know you get married already. This one not matchmaking show. Uh, next, <laughs> close your eyes. <laughs> All right, who will most likely win most dramatic actor award in three, two, one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> dramatic. 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 Oh. Dramatic. 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 Close your eyes in three. Eh, we should talk. All right, who would most likely be a radio DJ in three, two, one? We got a face for it, babe. I am getting so hot now. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right, close your eyes. Next question. Who would most likely? Be a radio DJ and get cancelled for pedophilia, <laughs> sexual harassment, sexual assault, grooming, fake accent, annoying eyebrows, and one thousand dollars. Anyway, if you enjoy our video, remember to <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification button. See you next week.